Hello, look here. This weekend I was recording videos about my rotary horns to show that I can change the horns of my rotary speaker cabinet. But I had a little problem. I don't have a proper mic to record that rotary horn cabinet because it produces too much wind and I don't have a mic and a proper pop filter for it and uh, I have been recording just with my smartphone but I'll post my videos anyway and um, you'll hear and see what happens uh, and you can comment what you think about and um, which horn do you prefer if they have more mids or more highs or if one is more effective or less effective than the other I hope you enjoy the video Stay tuned. Inspecting the horn and the belt. In order to compare the two types of horn, I have to record something improvised as a reference. So here is my DAW, and as you can see there is a record button here. Sorry, out of focus. Here is that pet bottle horn, that pet bottle horn, and now we're gonna test that recordings with this set of horns. So let's put it to play. So let's get to work. Let's change those horns. Sorry, I forgot to 
forgot the Allen key. I, sorry about that. I had lost my Allen key and now I have to remember to design a place to always have this Allen key at hand uh, in these moments when we have to change the horn or check the, the horn belt. Let's remove the horn. And one more to go. Easy, easy. So here are the two horns for you to compare side by side. Now let's place the thinner horn. You always have to remember that the belt must be there so you can put it there so that you can put it there there's no other way if you forget the belt you have to remove again the horn and place things in order Now let's tighten this horn. Firm, steady. Now let's test it. Working. So now we have to close the engine lid. Take care not to tighten these screws too fast. Okay. Another test. Let's put the other lid back to its place. Let's close the hood. Another test. I forgot to oil the motor, but that's okay. Now let's put that recording to play.
I'm going to record another tune, so I'm going to change the horn again for comparison. Everything again. So now I have the anti again. Yeah, he's... Tied instead, so let's put the belt on its place. Yes. I should have designed a way to lock this lid without the need of a screw. It could be a manual lock, but anyway. Everything in place. Another test. Motor running. So let's put it to play. prototype is an instrument of its own. It's fun to play and it has a lot of power. The motor noise uh, gets tempered with the distance so if you're far enough you practically don't hear the motor noise. My rotary horn cabinet was designed to sound like Goldie McJohn from Steppenwolf and John Lord from Deep Purple uh, cabinets. Goldie McJohn had a faulty Leslie cabinet, so my sound was designed to sound a little bit like that, but it doesn't mean that anything is damaged or not working properly. Everything is working fine, it just sounds uh, as if it was a little bit faulty. That rotary horn prototype is really powerful if plugged into a stronger amplifier. So in cases like that, you can use it for gig and you may consider even using earplugs like this because um, the compressor drivers um, may produce sound with uh, 100 decibels uh, with a lot of sound pressure levels. So it was a prototype made for Geek 2. So this video episode has come to an end. I hope you have enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please give your like and consider subscribing. 
Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.